Well, good evening. I know this is kind of late for a Get Real with Rick to answer. We're usually at noon. It's but early. Sometimes you have to I do just get things. Started. When you're in the world of symphony, you do things when the symphony's happening. And we've got, how many musicians are in the symphony? Almost 50, depending Almost, on the piece. These are local folks, most of them. And there's like close to 50 people, and they're the most talented people, and they're out there practicing right now. And this is David Kammerer with Summit Funding. He just happens to, you actually play an instrument. No, I don't. Yes, I you do. Saying. You do too. You do, you play an instrument. Rumor has it. David played an instrument. His parents were really big in the symphony and at the U of O in the School of Music, and he's on the board of the Eugene Symphony. So we want to promote the fact that this is here. Um, it's Rhapsody in Blue. Blues. No, Rhapsody in Blue. I said it right the first time. Very Rhapsody short. in Blue. It's a very special piece. And so this is going to be tomorrow night, a Valentine's special. But I'm telling you, that you guys are almost sold out, aren't you? Yeah, tickets are going fast. Tickets are going really fast. So Very if, popular show. So if you want to, we don't even have enough to give away, but we're going to give away, the symphony's going to give away tickets, and this is Stephanie. Come here, Stephanie, real fast. So Hello. this is Stephanie. She's with the symphony. She worked all this out for us. So you, you guys are going to give tickets away to what? We are going to give two tickets away to our next performance, which will be in March for Dr. Atomic and Brahms, and we'll have a lot to talk about with that coming up, but we will have two tickets for, for that later in your show, so, so stay you, tuned for that. So you guys tag two people in the comment section, and then you'll be eligible to win those two tickets. And if she looks familiar, that's because she was a television news anchor. We all did. Go ahead, do your hair like that. <laughs> well, we, I don't have, I don't have <laughs> We don't do that anymore. We, I'm a little bit flat. But former television okay. news anchors in Eugene, and we all stick together. But she's now working for the symphony, so you're yes. back. That's kind of a cool gig for you. Yes, I love it. It's been really great. It's been a really busy two months, but I'm really happy to be a part of the team. But I really want to get to our guest artist before okay. she has to run on stage. So we got, come here. Introduce yourself. Hi, uh, my name is Pallavi, and I am very excited to be here in Eugene. Where are you from? Um, I am from a lot of places. <laughs> uh, I moved around a lot. Um, I grew up in Chicago and D.C., and uh, went to undergrad at the Curtis Institute of Music in Philadelphia, and then I have been living in Europe since 2010. And you're a pianist. I am a pianist. You're very amazing, aren't you? Thank you. <laughs> so we're very, I have fun. <laughs> so we are fortunate to have you. What do you love about doing this? Um, honestly, music is something I literally cannot live without. I know that sounds a little corny, but that's really how I feel. And uh, the way I feel, um, if I can make someone in the audience feel that way, then that's what makes it worth doing. So how long have you been playing? <laughs> um... If I tell you that, then I tell you how old I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just like since 20. Since I was three. <laughs> since I was three. There you go. That's a good way to get out of it. So when you play, do you feel like you're part of that instrument? Um, yes, very much so. And I, and I love, I mean, I know that sometimes pianists, it's difficult for us because we always play on different instruments. And we have to get to know a different instrument every single time. But I really love playing on different instruments because it's like meeting a new person every time. It's like a new character, a new personality, and you get to learn about the piano and bring out the best in it. So, so Dave, you got to have fun. lunch today. We had lunch today, and, and she's right. She has to ch she has to change instruments every time yeah. she goes because you just don't put your piano in a little suitcase and walk, walk down the street and fly across the country in it. So, David, why is this such a big deal for Eugene to have someone of this caliber with the symphony playing for Valentine's Day? Okay, so Gershwin is a very famous piece, and then having the high level skill Malavi to play it is is very special. And I want to ask her a couple of questions. Okay, I think the rest ahead. of you deserve to hear this stuff. So, Malavi, tell us. Uh, when you first started playing piano and what happened. I love that story. <laughs> so um, I was two and a half years old and I was watching Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Um, I used to watch that as a kid and I don't remember any of this, but my parents told me that um, I asked them if I could play that instrument, pointed to the screen and it was a piano. They took me to the local music school, which is um, the Suzuki School in Chicago. And I started music lessons when I was three. and. Uh, what made me want to continue playing and do it for life was when I was 10 years old, I also played violin when I was a kid, and I was 10 years old playing in a summer camp orchestra, violin, and there was supposed to be a young piano soloist um, to play with the orchestra. And on the third day of the camp, he slipped 
playing frisbee, broke his wrist, and the directors knew that I played piano as well. Seriously? So they asked me to substitute, and I was like 10 years old, and the concert was in one week, and I had like never played the piece before, it was a Mozart concerto. But I managed, and I made my debut at the Ravinia Festival in Chicago, well, you, you and just, it was like, crazy, and then I said, okay, I have to do this for the rest of You just managed to play Mozart for the <laughs> cost. I mean, yeah, I was just old and been playing violin. Is that an amazing story? <laughs> that is. That's a great story. I love that story. Thanks, Thanks for sharing that with us. It's so is pleasure. there something else you want to ask her? Well, okay. You told me, but what, who's your favorite composer and why? Oh, that's such a loaded question. It's like asking who's your favorite child. I know. Um, I go through phases. I go through obsessions. And right now my obsession is Brahms. <laughs> so um, it just, the Brahms' music is so deep and so moving and personal and touching. And um, I just, I love playing his works. <laughs> what, what do you like about coming to Eugene? A place like Eugene this. Eugene is great. You know, this is my first time here and I haven't gotten a ton of time to explore, but so far everyone has been super nice. The food has been great everywhere. And I only want to complain about the little bit of rain. <laughs> oh, <laughs> because I really my need dear. sunshine. So winter weather. This is Oregon. <laughs> yeah. Come in the That's summer. That's my only co- I will come we'll back come in back the summer. Here. Let's have her back in the summer and then you can enjoy the summer. Because then, okay. but you got to come for extra days. The moisture is good for we'll the piano. Do. I know, it is. All right, so you probably need to get out there. I do. I've got to go to rehearsal. Okay, you guys, and we have very strict rules, um, so we only can have five minutes. Do we hear music out there right now? I don't hear any. I don't hear any, but I don't Okay, so there's very strict rules um, for hearing music while we're live at Pulse Center. So um, I'm going to do this. Okay, so we're going to just go ahead and stop. Okay. Okay, you guys, we're going to go into the rehearsal, and we can only be in here for five minutes, so hopefully we'll get to hear our pianist. They're going to get a little bit of working behind the scenes work okay. that goes into the amazing performance. Center, and this is a rehearsal for Rhapsody in Blue Gershwin that's here tomorrow night on the four, on uh, Valentine's night, and we just listened to the uh, guest pianist uh, talk to us, and we can only be in here for five minutes, so I just want you to see. stay in there any longer because um, there's just rules about how much time you can have. Union rules. Union rules, and so that's a little kind of taste. If you want a ticket, you need to get it now because they are almost, low. They're almost sold out. And uh, again, this is tomorrow night. 
This is Dave Kammerer with Summit Funding. He sponsors the show. It's, it's a joy to be able to, to uh, help. And, and why classical music? Well, the symphony plays classical music, but you guys, I gotta tell you, it's not just classical. This is, this is a timeless way of communicating emotion. And it, some of the stuff that we listen to, it's a couple hundred years old. And when I use that word timeless, it's like Elvis and the Beatles. It's that stuff goes off, it sticks around. This stuff is the original sticks around music. This has been around for centuries. Yeah, and it's think about this. Sometimes you have 60, 70, 80 people on stage playing in concert together. All right, they're playing together. That's really hard to get that many people to play in stage. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. So there's a lot of cooperation going on when you hear a beautiful sound being put together like that. But to me, it's still amazing. After seeing it for 50 years, it's still amazing to see that happen. And, and, to, and live is way different than hearing it in, in, uh, on a CD recording or whatever. Live is really something. And to have this caliber of people in our own community or yeah. within driving distance of here, um, that's a pretty big deal. <clears throat> Eugene's very special. And I think our School of Music at the University of Oregon is very strong because of this, but we have other arts organizations that are strengthened by having the symphony around and the symphony strengthened by having them around. Eugene's a unique community. I don't know the stats, but I, I would, it we're somewhere around twice the average number of artistic people in this town as some other cities of our size. It's just a lot of stuff going on here. So again, you guys, uh, Eugene Symphony is giving away two tickets to the next performance, which is Atomic. Dr. Atomic, Dr. Atomic and, Brahms, and Brahms. Which is funny because that's what Paula B was saying was yes. her yeah, favorite. Yeah, that's, that's her favorite. Love and, that. You know we what? didn't even pay her to say that. No, she did. <laughs> and, and so that's one of her right. favorites. And I remember in college singing some, we and doing some, I was doing chorus stuff and we did Brahms. And it was, I still remember some of that. I hear the song and I'll go, wait a minute, I remember that so music. So was telling me today that Brahms and Schumann family were very close together. Hmm. And I don't know if you know about Schumann, but they, he had a lot of issues later on towards the end of his life. And Brahms helped the family and picked up a lot of the pieces. And she's a scholar around the music. I mean, it's she's amazing. I love that the musicians of her caliber also know a lot about the history of the music and the composers. And that's really special. Mm -hmm. So tag two people if you'd like to come to the next performance. If you want to come to this performance, I'm not kidding you. You need to get your tickets because they're almost gone. So again, Stephanie, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Thanks thank for getting you. us in here. We appreciate yeah. your time. We'll be back. And David, thank you for sponsoring the show. My pleasure. And uh, Summit Funding, if you guys, I'll pitch because he will never do it. If you need somebody who can handle your mortgage and, and, and stuff, if you're having trouble with the mortgage people you're working with down, they can't get something done, he'll get it done. We'll get it done. He gets stuff done like crazy. And I had a lady from Coburg tell me, oh, Dave helped me get my mortgage and he really, really worked his butt off for me. So that's what we like to have in our community. So, and he sponsors stuff like this. So that's important to the community. All right, share this on your page, tag two people. Um, we're gonna go listen because we can, we just can't take you in, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, have a good night, see you tomorrow. Thank you, Rick.